and this being his hometown. A couple of things that Mr. Gores wants to happen. Number one, obviously get water, safe water for people to drink. Because as you know, lead poison affects kids for the rest of their lives. He's in the NBA family, and we're supporting everything he does. What really hit me is that I couldn't do a small thing. I needed to do a big thing, because Flint was big for me. On January 28th of this year, Piston owner Tom Gore has announced the beginning of Flint Now, a $10 million commitment to help fund short-term, mid-range, and long-term relief efforts in his hometown of Flint, Michigan. It's been tough to see. The best thing that I could think to do about it was to, to use it as a catalyst to really bring Flint back. Flint's had a hard time in the, in the past years with the auto industry and so on. And it's been an important city, I think, to America, given manufacturing and auto. And our first goal is to help those that are in need. The second part of this will be the long-term needs of Flint and its community and to spur others to join our efforts. This is beyond now the water crisis. Of course, that's at the forefront. But really, there's going to be many, many problems coming out of this, and I think we've got to prepare ourselves. The state and our government has to really fix the water problem. We're not going to be able to fix that problem. We're going to be able to help with the problems that come out of it. But I think the state has got to move a bit faster in fixing that problem first. Pistons players, Stan Van Gundy, and key executives have also taken an active role, committing $500,000 of their own funds. Their involvement was noted as part of the organization's Flint Now Night at the Palace, where Flint heroes were honored for their commitment to making a difference. Mr. and Mrs. Gores and the Pistons organization uh, has given us $250,000 towards this crisis. It allows us to offset a uh, significant amount of expenses we're incurring. This goes a long way to help us out. We're really concerned that these children aged 0 to 6 who have been exposed to lead they're going to face unique challenges over the next 20 years growing up, and we want to be there for them. It has been very close to me and my family. I grew up there, played sports there. My brother started a business there. I worked for my dad at a grocery store. So it's been difficult to see. Uh, I just want to do something about it. It started with Tom, and he deserves all the credit. And uh, his heart is still here. For all of us at the Palace and the Pistons, we're here to join his efforts and support his efforts to make it any difference. Tom's mantra is to be impactful. We all want to be impactful and make it a positive difference here in this community. If we don't raise any money from anyone else, Tom has committed that money and it's personal to him. Flint has been so good to me and my family. It's an opportunity for me to give back and if there are going to be kids struggling, I want to be there for them like Flint was there for me. The one thing Mr. Gores really has probably thought about seriously is the folks is that you got to have a short-term solution, which is really getting the water supply. And a long-term solution is awareness with nutrition and health and wellness. And the third is trying to change the economic conditions. He has the wherewithal and resources to be able to do all that, and he has support from his top executives, his players, from our NBA league and our commissioner. So it's a daunting task, but you got to start somewhere. And he's made all the right moves so far. But I think we need to react faster. It's one thing to have a problem, it's another thing to not react to the problem. We've made a decision, it's a big decision for us to be all in. It's what Flint deserves.